In this tutorial you will learn about systematic sampling in geography. Uh, sampling is a way of best representing a parent population. You can't sample every part of a parent population, so sampling allows you to gather a representation of it. So systematic sampling um, might involve an example like this where you stop the first, fifth, tenth, fifteenth person that passes you in the streets to do a questionnaire. Or it might involve you looking at the first, fifth, tenth, fifteenth building that you pass as you walk along a street. And it's entirely up to you what your interval will be, but it has to be a regular one. Um, in geography, um, we often use a transect or a line and we collect data systematically along that line. Um, in this example um, here I've drawn a river cross-section and you can see by the arrows where the data will be collected at regular intervals um, across the river. Here you might measure the depth or you might measure the bed load as you put your hand in and collect a sample at the bottom of the riverbed. And the good thing about this is that you will hopefully get a, um, a selection, a good selection of, of bed load or river depth. Um, the difficulty of this is that you might miss out important data in between those um, arrows there. Uh, systematic sampling you can use in an urban environment. Um, take a look at the top image here um, of a 3D image of a, of a of a city going from um, the CBD here and you might walk along this road here and do a transect from west to east all the way through to the um, western side of the city here and you would calculate what interval you'd like to do but it might be every um, 50 meters where you stop and you do your assessments whatever you're looking at age of building um, story number, environmental quality, and you'd collect your data at regular intervals along the um, line transect, and this is called point sampling. Um, so you can also use point sampling um, using a quadrat if you're doing a more um, vegetation-based piece of field work. This quadrat has a hundred squares, and instead of looking at every single square, which might take you some time, you might look at particular points, um, so the four corners here, um, maybe um, some of the middle points here. If you think your data is not sufficient, you can always select um, further points um, systematically uh, around your quadrat.